All right, this morning, Clayton County students at Sequoia Middle School will be learning remotely for the next two weeks. This comes as the district welcomes students at several schools back into the classroom today after pivoting to virtual learning due to the high number of COVID cases in school buildings. In fact, Mara Sirianni joins us live to explain what goes into the district decision making process when it comes to switching to remote learning. Mara. Yeah, Fran, good morning. The superintendent of Clayton County Schools says it is a tough decision, but at the end of the day, they're doing what is best for students and staff. We do not take the decision to move a school to virtual learning lightly. Clayton County School Superintendent in a message to families discussing the decision to pivot several schools to virtual learning. Decisions are made with our epidemiologists who may recommend whether we quarantine a cluster of individuals, a classroom, a grade level or hallway or an entire school. A case by case basis, students at Forest Park return to the classroom Wednesday and students at these nine schools will be able to return to the classroom today. We look at the impact on families and we look at the impact on student learning. A problem plaguing the district. We have 62 vacancies for bus drivers. Dr. Beasley says they're continuing to host job fairs and advertise. And when it comes to the vaccine, starting yesterday, Clayton County Schools began hosting clinics at 26 select schools for students who are age 12 and older. The CDC is updating. It appears sometimes weekly, daily, and we're doing our best to keep everyone moving in the right direction. And we mentioned that latest school that would be Sequoia Middle School. Students and staff there are expected to return to in person learning in two weeks on September 27th. Guys, Mara, thank you again. We got to keep that cycle going. They have 62 vacancies for for school bus drivers. And again, that's just going to continue to trickle down if in fact more and more people are not vaccinated in these districts. Thank you.